Hi, and welcome to Lesson 5, Step 3, Your Saving Workflow. So, by now, you've selected the photo that you want to hang in your home. You know where you want to hang it, how big you want it, and the effect you want it to create. You're sure the resolution is big enough, and you love the ratio you've chosen. It's time for the final step, saving your photo so that your printer delivers the big photo print you can already imagine seeing on your wall. So we've gone over the type of file and the color space. Now it's time to go through the best workflow to use when saving your photos, both in Photoshop and Lightroom. So I have a photo that I've already thought about that I think will look amazing above my couch and I know I want to print it really large. I actually want to turn it into an 80 by 40 inch photo print, which means it'll have a two to one aspect ratio. The photo is still in RAW, so I thought together we'll walk through how I'm gonna save it for printing. I'll start with how to do this in Photoshop. First, I open the photo. This is a raw file, but it has a NEF ending because I shot it in Nikon, but it is still a raw folder file. So I'm going to open it in Photoshop. And this is then in the format where it's completely not processed. So that's also where I can go ahead and I can make all sorts of adjustments. I personally like to bring up the blacks, but you can play with the whites, the shadows, the highlights, the contrast, the exposure. Um, and so you just are going to want to, you know, trust your instincts, play around a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. So now I have tweaked the photo, the raw photo, how I want. Essentially, I've processed it. And I'll go ahead and open it. And once my photo is open, I want to set it to a 2 to 1 ratio because I know that's the aspect ratio that fits with the 40 by 80 inch format that I want to have above my couch. So I'm going to go over to the crop tool and in crop I can see that this is a 3 to 2 ratio photo but I'm going to want to change that so let's see I am going to put it back at I'm going to have it as a 2 to 1 ratio and here actually I can drag it around and so I can position it exactly how I want as we did in an earlier lesson and I want to have enough of the horizon so I think I'm gonna go with that so I have adjusted it and now I have this beautiful image but I need to make sure that it is the right resolution for the big print that I want so I'll do that by going into image and scroll down to image size so in here because I'm gonna be printing in inches I'm gonna be looking at everything in inches here I'm going to make sure this is not checked, do not have the resample button checked, and I'm going to go over and I know that for wall prints I need a minimum resolution of 80. So I'm going to put in 80 pixels per inch and it is going to tell me how large. So look, I can go 92 inches, which is definitely bigger than my 80 inches that I want, so I know, yay, my photo is large enough. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do though is I'm just going to type in that I want this to be an 80 inch and it is going to set the resolution that is highest for that. So it's going to be 92 pixels per inch, which is great, bigger than 80. So I click OK and then I'm going into File and I choose Save As to save my file for printing. Now pay close attention to the file type that you're using. So you have an option, you can scroll down, but you may want to make sure you choose JPEG. Um, and then I'm going to check the color profile and because I've been working on a raw file it comes up with an Adobe RGB file size that's fine just make sure that you have it as an sRGB or Adobe RGB so I'm going to hit save and we're almost done people so this is already coming up that the maximum but sometimes you'll notice that it's a lower quality you don't want that you are saving this to print a big beautiful photo for your wall so you want to always make sure you save it in the maximum quality um, and that's all I'm gonna save okay and now this picture is ready to be uploaded and printed and hung on my wall the workflow in Lightroom is very similar. What I'm going to do, you remember this beautiful photo? Well, I'm going to import that other one that we were using. So you're going to go over and you are going to import your photos and video. You're going to then scroll down. I have my beautiful Florence folder 
and this is the picture that I want to work on. So that's what I'm going to click. Let's import it. And here it is. So I'm going to go over, and remember this is still a raw file, so I'm going to go into develop, and I'm going to get those same presets that I had before, uh, and I'll be able to adjust them exactly how I want. So like I said, I tend to like my blacks a little darker, and I also like my exposure a little brighter. Um, Actually, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. After I've done that, I'm going to go over and I'm going to make sure that it is set at the, res at the aspect ratio I want. So I have to set the crop overlay on. And remember, I come over by this little key tool here. And that's where I can scan down. I can choose one of the ones that's open. I can enter a custom one. Uh, let's just do that. So I'm going to choose. I want to have it as a 2 to 1 ratio. OK, so beautiful. Here we have it. I can drag my photo around so that I get exactly the horizon that I want, or no horizon, but I don't want that. Definitely want some horizon. Okay, so I think this looks beautiful. I'm going to go ahead then and click Done. I've done that. And now, once again, you need to make sure that your resolution is also enough. So there's a great trick. You click Command I, or just I actually, and it's going to tell you what your resolution in pixels is. But that's when we're going to have to use some more math. So I'm going to hit Command Spacebar, and that's where I can actually just type in. So I have, I'm going to take my largest number, the 7360. So that is the largest resolution in pixels for the width of my folder. And I'm going to divide it by 80 pixels because that is the pixels per inch I know I need as a minimum. And I get 92 because that's what we saw when we were working in Photoshop as well. That's the 92 inches that I can print with this photo if it has a pixels per inch of 80. So that is definitely big enough. Awesome. So I know this photo is large enough. So I am basically good to go here. So that means I'm going to go on over here and I am going to export my photo. So you don't do save as in Lightroom, you do export. And you actually have a lot of options here. I'm going to choose, I'm going to export it to my hard drive and I'm going to actually just leave it going to my desktop. That makes it easier for me to find and I'm going to be able to then quickly uh, upload it for printing. And I am going to leave the file name and everything. But here, in file settings, this is where you're going to want to pay attention. You want to make sure that here you are choosing the JPEG, right? And here you have a choice of color spaces. Um, I'm just going to go with the sRGB because I know that is sufficient. And one thing to really make sure you do is set it all the way to the highest quality. I don't need to do anything with the image sizing because I've already shaped it to add, put it in the aspect ratio that I want. One additional option that you do have in Lightroom is an output sharpening. And because I know that I am going to be printing this with exposure and exposure prints on this beautiful vivid satin matte paper, I'm going to actually go ahead and choose sharpen for not the screen, but I'm going to sharpen it for the matte paper. This is something a little extra specialized setting you can do. It's definitely not required. Um, I'm not going to add any watermarking or anything else. So that's it. Just as easy as that, I'm going to go ahead and click export and my photo will be ready for me to upload and get printed and get on my wall. Well, we've reached the end of lesson five. You are now totally ready to get your own stunning photos on the wall. Congratulations! Lesson six is for those of us who want to go beyond the ordinary and really get creative with our wall prints. Together, we're going to look at some great out-of-the-box ideas that will really help you show off your photography and make you so happy when you see it on the wall. I'll see you there. And until then, don't f-stop, keep on shooting. <laughs>